Hi guys, this is Michaela and uh, yes, that's a bit of a different outfit that uh, most people have seen me in but i um, waiting for friends to collect me um, to do some sport in a park and um, I'm all ready and literally sitting on the stairs and they are late so I thought I might seize the moment and try something new and uh, decided to talk to you about something that I came across today on social media where someone was saying um, never post an ugly image and that buffered me a little bit because we are thriving to such a perfectionism online um, in terms of images and lifestyle while at the same time when we're talking about dressing towards your advantages um, exercising, smart dressing, um, dress for success, we do have often um, a problem and issue with it because we're saying what I'm wearing shouldn't matter, it's all about the mind. And I believe neither of uh, the statements are right. On social media, I believe um, it should always feel real, it should have always charm and because that's catching and that's convincing that's credible and trustworthy while a lot of beautiful beautiful images um, that are shot in a way where you know it is, has been done by a professional photographer they're lacking um, the charm and the realness and i think that's what it's all about why when dressing for work and it's about a deep understanding of who you are um, understanding um, you know how to dress towards your uh, best advantages and actually to have an understanding um, where you are um, what are you dressing for um, when we are going to a wedding to a theme party um, we exercise it with ease and with keenness because we don't want uh, to show up and uh, not knowing how to dress ourselves or having the wrong dress code. So why is that at work that we are sometimes fighting it? As I say, it's not about looking like a bar Barbie doll, but really to be our best version. Uh, when you're dressing or exercising smart dressing, it's about self-value, it's about self-respect that uh, you prepared uh, for the interview, you put a lot of preparation into the interview and also uh, that you value, that, that you value uh, the time of uh, the person you're meeting. Uh, and after all, um, when you're walking through the door, it's not you who they're seeing first in terms of your mind, but it's the style that comes through the door first. And I think uh, it's a very important thing um, to look always in your best possible way and to reflect a dressing code that's reflecting uh, the occasion, right? So again, it's not about uh, perfect perfectionism, but it's about doing the best you can. And that's all what I wanted to say today. That was my thought of today, basically. Um, on social media um, ease it a little bit down it's not about being perfect but you know like having fun and being real while when you're dressing for work it's um, it's really about um, knowing yourself and knowing who you're seeing what the situation is and it's just like sharpening your toolkit and um, yeah just apply the same thinking when you're going to a wedding or when you're getting ready to go on holiday or when you're going to a birthday party straight away we start to think what to wear what do we need to do uh, how can we look our best often we start uh, to enroll in into the gym just in summer to lose a few pounds we start to eat healthy and we're going to see a beautician we are seeing a stylist and uh, we start talking about it so uh, just in somehow like level a little bit so um, don't put so much effort into something that is short-lived so if you're investing so much time thinking try to extend it 
into your day-to-day -day life and especially as well into work because you're spending a lot of time uh, at work so you might then somehow like uh, dress to your, uh, to your best self and feel your best and that always uh, affects your mind and that results in self-confidence. So that's all what I want to say today and um, speak to you next time. Ah, I can see them. See you.